peace everyone and welcome to my channel uh, today is our second video about the sims 4 and the uh, apple macbook pro m1 max um, uh, 32 cores of gpu and uh, 64 gigs of ram and 2 terabyte of storage uh, today will be a little bit different uh, yesterday i just played the game uh, on a single r resolution i think and uh, maxed out Today, based on your requests, we're going to do something different. We're going to keep changing between resolutions and uh, graphics settings, with high and low and medium. Also enable, uh, disable the uh, edge smoothing and we'll see how this will affect the performance and the FPS. So uh, without further ado, let's proceed to the game. All right, let's first show you the graphics uh, settings. We are at the lowest settings. There's basically no lower than that. And then uh, that's the resolution as well. That's the lowest resolution we can, uh, I can, uh, that's the lowest resolution I can actually uh, set this game to play on uh, at the moment. So let's play and see how this is actually gonna give us. Right, let's go to this lovely house. Um, and a little bit of disclaimers. Uh, I honestly don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just playing it for you guys. Uh, so if you know a specific uh, task or something that it needs to be done, uh, just let me know. Uh, I just enabled the FPS and you can see the counter on the bottom here. Um, and the, of course, the game is definitely uh, very smooth, no problems. Uh, the quality is not the best though. Uh, like I don't think, uh, uh, definitely it's playable. Like if you have a small uh, laptop, I mean like a, uh, performance wise, an old one or something, uh, this will, 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 these settings will do good, but uh, come on, this is M1 Max. Uh, we should put it higher up and you can see I feel like it's not it's not crisp enough. It's not sharp. So uh, I guess that's enough for the lowest settings. We're getting around 90, 95. Sometimes it dips to like 80, but I think we're like average. We can say average uh, 92 or 90, something like that. Uh, and, I, and I think that's pretty good. Um, all right, so now let's go and change the resolution only to the highest. Uh, we're gonna leave the graphics settings uh, as uh, as low. Okay, thank you. Now you can see the difference. Oh, what's that? Okay, I think that's the recording. Uh, yeah, all right. The problem is whenever I change the resolution or the graphics, the recording stops. So I have to every time enable and make sure that is actually working. Um, so anyway, we're getting the same, I think we're getting the same FPS number, but it's a lot sharper now. Of course, we're covering, uh, because it's a higher resolution, so we're covering uh, wide grounds, more grounds. And let's go back to the counter here. Yeah, you can see, I, I feel it's a little bit more crisp, sharp, if you get what I mean. So uh, yeah, we're doing good here. I think we're getting the same. I think we're like the average could be 92, 93 FPS. Uh, so that's pretty good for this resolution. That will lead us to the second uh, setting we're gonna tweak will be the graphics quality we're gonna change it to medium I'm not gonna go through low and low medium and medium and high I'm just gonna go uh, yeah I mean low and low medium I'm just gonna go through medium and then ultra uh, all right uh, let's keep the resolution or actually let's go to the lowest settings as well we'll start the same as we started with the uh, low settings so I'm gonna have to apply Uh, 
Um, so, um, we are here right now, lowest uh, resolution, same effect, um, I think we're getting the same uh, effect as um, the quality, it seems like it's not that, it's not that good, however, we, we've seen a little bit of dip in, yeah, or not, what do you guys think, do, do, is it, do we see a little bit of dip? In term of um, FPS, not 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 that much. It's a it's a little bit like I, I remember we used to peak the 96, 95, 94. Now we're like peaking 92, 93. So we we've seen a tiny bit of uh, drop in uh, FPS here. So let's go for the higher resolution and see if that's actually going to change anything. Okay, apply. Okay. Okay, uh, let's leave it at medium and then, oh, did I, yeah, um, of course the resolution made, made it a little bit sharp, but you can see there is a huge dip, oh, okay, a huge dip or not, a huge dip in the, um, in the FPS, yep, yeah, we, we got, um, yeah, I can see that we were playing around nine first. On the lowest settings, we were playing around 96, 95. Then the medium started to dip a little bit to the 80s. Now we're looking at the 70-ish uh, average FPS rate. However, the game itself uh, plays uh, very smooth, no lagging, no no issues with the game performance itself, and the quality is pretty good. I think. The, I can see everything um, more details now um, that leads us to the last option where we gonna go lower and gonna go ultra this time uh, lower resolution and ultra so let's apply the settings okay so we change it to ultra with the resolution here so let's see how it's actually you can see because it keeps restarting every time i uh, change the graphic settings it have to restart to take effect so that stops the fps counter from running um, that's the lowest resolution and the highest graphic settings so keep that in mind um, interesting do you guys see the fps counter it actually hmm do you do you think that the uh, m1 max um, do you think the m1 max knows when when it doesn't need that much power it reduces the gpu core to like efficient core or something or not using all the cores just to reduce Red use of power <laughs> That's why we're getting now high FPS when and that maybe explain why we're getting now a high FPS and we were getting um, low FPS when we were on a medium setting because at the medium settings the ships, the cores uh, does not need to work as much so maybe like from those 32 GPUs only 24 was working and the rest were just idling and then now because we change it to ultra that now requires more GPU power so now all the 32 cores are working um, so now we're getting higher F, uh, FPS um, honestly I don't know um, but you saw it yourself um, I see a little bit of the in uh, FPS numbers right now um, yeah the problem that that could be a, a lot of factors could affect the FPS here um, could be the items could be the how, how many items are uh, objects are in, uh, on the screen at the moment like let's go take a like a bird view and see yeah because now we have all the items so that means a lower FPS, but if we have just let's say coming here less items 
Yeah, yeah, still the same. Yeah, you guys tell me what do you think in the comments. Uh, why we sometimes we get high FPS and why sometimes we get low FPS. Honestly, I cannot crack this one up. Uh, so I am gonna need your uh, your opinion on that. Um, so um, our next test, we will uh, get the highest resolution. Then here we go. And that now we're getting the highest resolution. Mm. Oh yeah, now we're having a huge dip in. Um, yeah, we're, we're reaching 30s. Okay, now I'm confused. <laughs> you guys can see, you guys see it yourself. The FPS, it, sometimes it reaches 80s, 84, 80, and here's 90. And then some other times it's just dipped to 40. So I, I think I feel that way when uh, the operating system trying to balance uh, when it when it actually requires uh, to use all 32 cores GPU cores or not when it requires that that when it feels that we need to use all the 32 cores now that's what when we get the all GPU uh, all the FPS uh, high that's what that's when we get a high FPS but when the, when the system decide to idle some cores that's when we get lower fps that's my guessing but still this is just a guess all right so our last test will be enabling the edge smoothing i'm gonna set it to you it's already off so i'm gonna set it to high then and you guys can see whenever whenever I change anything about the edge smoothing, it automatically change the graphics quality to custom. Um, that's why it was showing custom in the first place in the first video. Um, so let's see here. Uh, all good, same FPS. I don't think. Maybe. All right, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide whether it's uh, actually affecting the FPS number or not. Uh, why sometimes we see high FPS numbers even in, on a low, lower settings and we see high FPS numbers on a high settings. Uh, I'll leave it up to you guys in the comment uh, to just, uh, just let me know your thoughts and uh, just let me know your thoughts. And uh, giving the game itself, the game itself played pretty well, even with the high graphics, with the high settings, with the high resolution, no stuttering, no lagging. Um, and uh, just right now, I barely started to hear the um, the fans. It's not it's not loud, but right now it was started to hear the fan. Uh, the laptop itself is not hot. It's uh, around the keyboard and uh, on the bottom next to like right and left next to the uh, touch touchpad it's completely cold uh, the keyboard itself it's a little bit warm um, and the, mo the more you go up it gets hotter um, that's uh, that's a, that's a something i just noticed so i i, I thought i thought you guys need uh, should know it um, all right let's see now the battery life all right um uh, with this session we'll talk about like how how long 15 minutes i think something like that 10 to 15 minutes um we have a 93 uh, percent battery so that means we use like around seven percent so yeah absolutely that makes sense um seven percent playing game and uh, keep in mind that this is the 14 inch version the 14 inch version usually gets hotter uh, than the 16 uh, M1 Max version uh, because it's a bigger chassis, so it's bigger, it's better cooling and stuff. So always keep that in mind. Batteries will be as will will not be that good at the 14 inch, but I'm I'm willing to trade the battery for a better performance and portability of 14 inch. So uh, with that being said. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, uh, 
and see you guys in the next one. Thank you.